Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Closing out our new release night strong with our fifth case of the brand new 2019 Finest Baseball. Eight box, pick your team, number five. Thanks to Scott who got the last five spots straight up. Filling up this break, I really appreciate it. No team randoms here. Nice. All right, here is a fresh case. Good luck, everybody. Try to open it, try to open it this way. It's not as clean as I wanted it to be. <laughs> All right, so two, four, six, and back there is eight. All right, two autos per box. So it looks like Bowman's best, but with only two autos per master box, one per mini box. So this is pick your team number five. Thanks, everybody. Pretty strong night. The autograph's usually in that first pack, so I want to save it for a little bit later. Generally comes in that first pack, so I'm gonna make sure that's pops out a little bit later. So a little room here. All right, good luck everybody. Here we go. Welcome back, King D. I think you have the, the Nationals and Astros in this one. Good luck. Yeah. Come on, packaging. So, in the first four breaks, that we've done first four full case breaks of Finest, brand new release, 2019 Finest Baseball by Tops. I feel like we've pulled at least one of all of the sort of bigger name rookies, except for Fernando Tatis Jr. So that's kind of our last sort of bigger name that we're looking for. So we'll see, we'll see if it happens here. I feel like we're due. There's Anthony Rizzo to 150. And there's Tuki Toussaint. That goes to Jared Nictor and the Bravos. Nice auto. There's Matt Chapman to 250. And is that some green down there? Is that a green auto? It is. It's a, it's a Tukey Toussaint box. 49 out of 99. This time green parallel for Jared. A Jared personal box. <laughs> what if this is like a Toussaint hot case? What is it, two times eight, six, 16 Tucson autograph?
All right, next one. Good luck. Man, King D, the Astros got... I was on the Astros today. They got destroyed today. What happened? I guess the Mariners have been struggling for a little while. and I guess they were like... You know, it's tired of not scoring runs. And what's going on with the Brewers? Brewers have struggled the last two games against the uh, against the Marlins. <laughs> King Daisy, if you play a team seven times and then let them win once, it's okay. I guess the runs, the number of runs scored doesn't matter, right? It's a W or an L. They count in the win-loss column the same. There's Mariano Rivera, die cut for the Yankees. Chad Wright with the Bronx Bombers. There's Francisco Lindor to 99 for the Tribe. And Luis Urias is your autograph. Matt, Matthew Bodner with the Padres. Maybe we'll find his teammate. Supposed to be activated Friday, I think, from the DL, which is good. Hmm. There's Ozzy Albies to 250. And your autograph is Tory Hunter. That goes to Damian Stock with the Twins. Nice old school auto there. All right, let's dig up another two autographs. Otani heating up. Two nights, two home runs. Looks healthy. Otani should be able to throw again starting next season. I think, I've said this before, I think they should I think they should put Otani, they should make Otani a closer. Save some stress on his arm. He can DH more often. Autographs, pick your team five. Good luck, folks. And there's Jake Bowers for the Rays. That'll be for Robert Aguilar. Got the Rays straight up in this break. Everyone got their spots straight up in this break. Thank you. Appreciate that. And nice Jorge Posada. So we got Tori Hunter in the last box. And now Jorge Passage, so a couple old school guys. Yankees, Chad Wright with Finest Origins autograph. Go 
Nice. And we've got a gold, Ronald Acuna Jr. To 50 for Jared. All right, next one. Good luck, boys and girls. I think all the games are a final tonight, right? No, the uh, Oakland Oakland Angels game are still uh, is still going on. They're tied at eight, with apparently a play under review. What's this? There's a new way to pick all stars according to MLB.com. How does this? How does this work? How does this work? I want it to be the old way. Let's learn about all star voting, folks. Baseball's version of the primary season is now upon us. Interesting, according to Anthony Castro Vince on uh, Castro Vince. on MLB.com. Baseball's version of the primary season is now upon us. The sports answer to election day is not far behind. And incorporating shades of the political process, the 2019 Google MLB All-Star Ballot brings major changes to the selection system for All-Star starters. We'll learn about this more in the next box. <laughs> Stay tuned. Got to focus on this right now. I knew I heard some rumblings about things being switched up. Wow. Nice. That is out of 99. That's Ozzy Albius, Blue Chips autograph. It's a nice one for Jared Nichter and the Atlanta Braves. That's pretty cool. And Purple Joey Votto to 250. And it's Corbin Burns for the Brewers. Scott McNulty, that's one of his last spot mojo teams. Corbin Burns, rookie auto. All right, so we have one, two, three, and four boxes to go. We are halfway through. This full case break. So those who take the field at the start of this year's All-Star Game, presented by MasterCard, third Tuesday, July 9th at Cleveland's Progressive Field, will have proven victorious in an election that is sure to stoke Democratic diamond drama. Look at this writing. This bit of writing here. The traditional process of fans choosing from a ballot of club nominated players at each position is now a 25-day event known as the primary, which is underway now and concludes June 21st at 4 p.m. Eastern. The primary will whittle things down to a field of finalists who will then advance to the starters election, which will take over a 28-hour period starting at noon Eastern on June 26th. And thanks to a new multi-year agreement with Google, fans will have more ways to vote. Wow. All right. Do fans still select all-star starters? Yes. The fans remain responsible for the position players in the ALNL, blah, 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 blah. The difference in the voting process now that constitutes only constitutes one element of that selection where the top vote getter at each position during a single voting period advances straight to the lineup. Now the top three vote getters at each position and the top nine in the outfield will advance from that primary round to a starter's election. Gotcha. All right. That's interesting. I feel like that's good. Sometimes choosing all-stars are kind of overwhelming. 
right? And then they, there's only team nominated, so then you only have a certain amount of players. Or I, I guess what I'm... It sounds like the entire field is open to get into the prime to be in the primary and then the top vote getters there will be then the top vote getters you select for the uh, for being actually on the all-star team I like that I think I'm into that all right we've got some red already it's blue chips three out of five Matt Chapman Turn the volume down, folks. Here comes the train whistle. I know it's late on a weeknight. Jeremy Mennel with the Oakland A's. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice. Nice. Love a good train whistle late at night. Oh, we got Luis Urias coming into focus. Sorry about that. Uh, wet, wet the whistle again a little bit. And there's Ryan O'Hearn. That's for Nick Sanderson and the Royals. There's Max Kepler to 150. Sam saying one of these days I'll grab the Braves in a break would make a great gift for uh, for your stepfather. Yeah, that would. Father's Day is around the corner. There's Ryan Baruki for Jeremy Tillman and the Blue Jays. You was uh, Carmo was saying I was tempted because Mariners are my team, but this break doesn't have old players like Griffey and Johnson. Tempted to buy the Mariners in this break? Is that what you're saying? I think I think they're in there. Yeah, uh, Ken Griffey Jr. is in this set, and Mariners also have Ichiro. So Mariners are actually a pretty good team to get, I think. Although I take that back. The checklist I'm looking at right now says Ken Griffey Jr. Originals autograph. So I guess that could be Reds. I would assume it would be... I would assume it would be, be Mariners, though, but they haven't assigned it to a team, at least on this grid. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I forgot to... Father's Day. Forgot to think to think about that. That's around the corner. So remember, it takes about from from a break night to door. It takes a, a week ish for you to get hits. So if you want to try to plan ahead to try to get something for a father, stepfather, whatever, and you want to try to chase some hits as a gift, get into the action. I think that'd be pretty fun. A little different. Mr. Chad Wright. No, this is uh, Finest Number 5. If you look on the website, 6 is not sold out yet. I think we're still at still at 15 teams left. That's looking like it's going to be tomorrow. There's Jose Abreu to 150 for the White Sox. That goes to Michael K. And a redemption. Interesting. And 
Any guesses on that redemption? If it's a mystery redemption, I know a lot of people were saying that mystery redemption one is Vlad Guerrero Jr., but I have not seen um, a uh, the, a checklist kind of confirm that. So it'll go to one person in the break. It'll be randomized to one person in the break. There's Francisco Garcia, Angels. I think those are pretty short printed though, so I don't think we're going to see one of those. Otherwise, it'll go to the team that they're associated with. Nicholas, Nick is going to guess, uh, Nick L is going to guess uh, Mystery or Tatis. Someone said Tatis was live though. Well, let's find out. Bam, Matt Chapman. Finest autograph, blue refractor parallel. That goes to the Oakland A's, Jeremy Mennel. All right, two boxes to go, four autographs to go. Two in this one, two in the last one here, and pick your team at number five. It looks like uh, I would encourage everybody, this is probably our last break of the night because I don't think anything else is sold out at the moment or any short break is sold out at the moment. We're at quitting time anyway. Yeah, so we're going to call it after this, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll be back tomorrow for, I'm sure we'll do a few more uh, of these pick your team breaks of finest tomorrow. I would encourage everyone, if you're watching right now, if you're in future or if you want to get into future PYT breaks of finest baseball, brand new release just dropped today, I would highly encourage everyone to get their teams now. Like if you know you're going to be here tomorrow and hanging out and breaking, I would get your teams now before, before some of the breaks get popped into uh, team randoms. So if you see your team, go get your team before they're gone. Just a pro tip. Otherwise, if you wait till tomorrow, then you're going to be like, oh, where'd that team go? Oh, it's in a team random. I should have got him when, I, when Joe told me to, when I had the chance. So get into it. Right, good luck. JD Martinez leads things off. Let's get us into focus here. There we go. We've got Xander Bogarts to 250. Red Sox, Anthony P. And the autograph looks like Orange Shimmer. Or, oh, or a blue chips autograph, Francisco Lindor. Nice. 24 out of 25 orange parallel for the tribe. Rick Barker and the Indians. Nice one, Rick. It's a good look one. The orange par parallels always look, look nice. There's Gold Scooter Jeanette to 50. Doesn't Miles uh, Mikolas look like a pitcher from the 70s? It's a good look. And Michael Kopech. Nice Michael Kopech for, for Michael K. From one Michael K to another. White Sox. Nice. So those are your two autos. And Corbin Burns. And the last box coming up. Good luck, ladies and gents. Like I was saying before, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Snag your teams before they end up in a team random. I highly recommend that. 
Do not miss out. Um, what else? Oh, you can pre-order Luminance Football. Luminance Football drops on Friday. So you can pre-order that on jazbeeschasebreaks.com. You can bust a lot of that open on Friday. We should have a pretty busy day there, too. We should be a pretty good week. A couple nice new releases. Last box, pick your team five. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for uh, filling this break up straight up. Appreciate it. Let's see what autographs we close out with. Solid break so far. I feel like all the finest breaks have been pretty solid. Here's another Mariano die cut. Steven Duggar to 99. Going to the Giants, that's for Carmonas with the Gigantes. And the die cut, of course, will go to Chad Wright, who has got the Yankees. Have not seen an autographed version of that yet. But here's Miguel Andujar for Chad Wright. Nice one, Chad. Six out of 50. Gold autograph. Man, I wish he was healthy this year. Shut down the season with a shoulder issue, surgery, but had a great year last year, and hopefully will continue to have a great career. Nice. All right. Last mini box. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got. Last autograph. Who could it be now? It's Blake Snell, Blue Chips autograph. 58 out of 99 for the Rays ace. Robert Aguilar with the Tampa Bay Rays. Got the Rays straight up. Nice. And there's Ramon Laureano, 250. Oh, boy. Carmonas is lagging. <laughs> He's talking about Rex. Look at that. He's talking about that Will Smith thing that you talked about like 30 minutes ago. All right, Ramon Laureano. He'll catch up to the video in a second. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Pick Your Team 5. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.